is our second lesson national income in this lesson we'll be learning to understand the meaning of national income and some basic concepts of national income and also we'll be knowing the various methods which are helpful for calculating national income methods of measuring national income all goods and services produced in a country must be counted and converted against money value during a year so whatever is produced is either used for consumption or for savings this national output can be computed at any three levels one production two income level and the third one is expenditure so these three methods are used to measure national income the first one is product method or you call it as production method or value added method second one is income method or factor earning method and the third one is expenditure method so let's learn one by one in this method national income is measured as a flow of goods and services so we calculate money value of, of all final goods and services that is produced in an economy during a year so final goods uh, here refers to those goods which are directly consumed and not used in further production process so this is called to be product method okay so goods which are further used in production process are called as intermediate goods okay in this in the value of final goods value of intermediate goods is already included therefore we do not count value of intermediate good in national income otherwise there will be a problem of double counting in the value of uh, goods to avoid this problem double counting we use the value addition method so value added method or you call it as product method in which not the whole value of the commodity but value addition that is the value of final goods and services at each stage is calculated and these are summed up to gdp there are several precautions that has to be followed in underdeveloped countries for calculating national income in india this method is applied in agriculture mining manufacturing and uh, handicraft industries okay so the first point is what is the precautions that has to be seen under product method double counting see double counting what do you mean by double counting it should be avoided we i used to say double counting has to be avoided under value added method so any commodity which is either raw material or intermediate good for the final production should not be included uh, i'll just give you an example the value of cotton enters the value of yarn as cost and the value of yarn in cloth and that cloth it becomes garment see from cotton to garment at every stage value added should be calculated so but what happens each and every cost um, is being calculated again and again it was calculated from cotton then cotton to yarn again it is calculated from yarn to cloth and then cloth to garment so it is calculated again and again double times it is being counted it's called as double counting so this method is to be avoided under national income second one is self consumption see the value of output used for self consumption should be counted 
while measuring national income and the third one the durable goods and sale and purchase of second hand goods also should be should not be included because it is already bought it is already calculated again and again it has it uh, if there is an ng of calculating again and again it will become a problem for calculating national income so these are the precautions that has to be seen under product method there are several precautions that has to be followed in underdeveloped countries for calculating national income in india this method is applied in agriculture mining manufacturing and uh, handicraft industries okay so the first point is what is the precautions that has to be seen under product method double counting see double counting what do you mean by double counting it should be avoided we i used to say double counting has to be avoided under value added method so any commodity which is either raw material or intermediate good for the final production should not be included uh, i'll just give you an example the value of cotton enters the value of yarn as cost and the value of yarn in cloth and that cloth it becomes garment see from cotton to garment at every stage value added should be calculated so but what happens each and every cost um, is being calculated again and again it was calculated from cotton then cotton to yarn again it is calculated from yarn to cloth and then cloth to garment so it is calculated again and again double times it is being counted it's called as double counting so this method is to be avoided under national income second one is self conception see the value of output used for self conception should be counted while measuring national income and the third one the durable goods and sale and purchase of second hand goods also should be should not be included because it is already bought it is already calculated again and again it has it uh, if there is an ng of calculating again and again it will become a problem for calculating national income so these are the precautions that has to be seen under product method see this is the second method called as income method to calculate national income under this method national income is measured as a flow of factor incomes so these are generally four factors of production can you name them what are the four factors of production labor land labor capital and entrepreneurship or organization so labor gets wages and salaries capital get interest land gets rent and entrepreneur gets profit as their remuneration so beside these some self employed persons who employ their own labor their own capital uh, such as doctors advocates cas etc their income is called as mixed income so the sum total of all these factor income is called as ndp at factor cost or you call it as income method okay so income method involves all sort of income which is derived in an economy uh, like wage income capital income and mixed income see in this uh, chart also it explains this method is adopted for estimating the contribution of the remaining sector such as small enterprises banking and insurance commerce and trades professionals liberal arts and domestic service public authorities house property and foreign sector transactions so data on income from abroad is also accounted to calculate under the income method see all the spendings and the income received 
will be calculated for national income so let's learn the items that to be included and items that has not to be included so let's discuss very fast the first one is transfer payment should not be included why it should not be included because uh, it in estimation of national income as these payments are not received for any service provided at the current year such as pension social insurance etc scholarships pensions and all does not include in the service okay so it has to be given for uh, like pension it has to be given it has to be rendered so this is no this should not be included while calculating national income second one is the receipt from the sale of second hand goods already we discussed it should not be treated as a part of national income because it is already calculated when it was established okay third one is windfall gain it should also not be created what do you mean by windfall gains see a sudden increase in the uh, profit or a sudden increase in the money in the hands of the people so, uh, like lotteries see they are also not to be included because it is depending upon luck and fate and they they do not represent receipts from any current productive activity because it is a sudden luck isn't it so windfall gains also should not be uh, Uh, taken under control and the fourth one is corporate profit tax that also should not be included and it has to be a part only when the uh, part of a company's profit because it's already included as a part of company's profit okay now what has to be included what is to be included imputed values or imputed cost of rent of self occupied houses or how office it is to be included so we pay a rent tax and all right so that has to be included okay and the, the next one is imputed values of service provided by owners of production uh, units of production like uh, family labor it has to be included so uh if there is uh, they if they employ their own my family member then it has to be um, uh, calculated so all these are the precautions that has to be seen under calculating national income under income method the next one is expenditure method so in this method the national income is measured as a flow of expenditure is the sum total of private consumption expenditure and government consumption expenditure gross capital formation and net export so these and all are comes under expenditure method the expenses incurred in the nation see so it is calculated as gnp is equal to c that is private consumption i is in private investment g is expenditure government expenditure and x minus m is net export so these and all has to be calculated under expenditure method formula to calculate expenditure method is equal to C plus I plus G plus X minus M, and the precautions that has to be kept in under control is second hand goods. That is, uh, expenditure made on second hand goods should not be included. Purchase and shares of uh, shares and bonds, uh, also from the purchase of the old markets of the shares and the bond and secondary market should not be included. transfer payment expenditure payment towards government uh, schemes which is incurred for paying to those pensioners all that has to be not included under transfer payment and the fourth one is expenditures on intermediate goods so expenditure on seed and fertilizers by farmers cotton in yarn by textile industries are not to be included in to avoid double counting so this 
is only expenditure on final products are to be included